In example 2 here, we're given that the horizontal distance that a projectile will travel in the air is given by this equation. The distance equals the vo initial velocity squared divided by the uh, acceleration due to gravity times the sine of twice the angle. Theta is the uh, angle above the horizontal that it's thrown at. And we're asked if you can throw a baseball at 30 meters per second, at what angle should you throw it for it to travel 90 meters horizontally? So we'll start with our formula and substitute in the values. We're asked to, we're going to throw it 90, want to go 90 meters. Initial velocity is 30 meters per second. Uh, g is 9.8 meters per second squared on, on the planet Earth. And we're asked to solve for theta. So simplifying the 30 squared over 9.8, 30 squared is 900 divided by 9.8 is uh, 91.84. And so I would divide out the 91.84. So the sine of 2 theta would equal 90 divided by 91.84. And 90 divided by 91.84 is approximately 0 0.97997, etc. Now we want to find theta, so we've got to find 2 theta first. So to find the angle, 2 theta would equal the inverse sine of this 0 0.97997. And so we take the inverse sine of that. And 2 theta would be about 1.37 radians. Now I'll talk about degrees in a moment. So 2 theta equals 1.37 radians. So dividing both sides by 2, we get theta is about 0.685 radians. So that means that the ball should be thrown at an angle of with, with the horizontal of about 0.685 radians. If you want to convert that to uh, degrees, and remember that we could uh, convert the uh, 0.685 radians to degrees just by multiplying 0.685 by 180 over pi, and we'll get about 39 degrees. So if you want to think of degrees, that's the angle you have to throw that ball with the horizontal to get to go the 90 meters. And that's the end of the lesson.